Barely. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are in... I have no idea where exactly we are. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. Um, we are in... Billerica? Billerica. Billerica, Massachusetts. We just delivered to this room and board that I'm at right now. We overnighted here last night. Um... And so now we're just waiting for my 10 hour break to finally finish and then we can head, uh, head over to our next pickup in Orange, Massachusetts. And that's going down to uh, the Fort Mill, South Carolina Ross Distribution Center. So hey, ain't no big deal, drop and hook. It's gonna be an easy, easy run. Well, minus the easy run because we gotta go through probably depending on what route, but we gotta go through New York, and then Philadelphia, Baltimore, DC. If I seem tired, I really am. Um, I've been having problems with this truck. Ever since I've gotten the truck, I've had problems with the air conditioner in the back increasing airflow by itself. And I've just seemed like I'm just really tired, and I, and I am. Like, they're trying to figure out what's wrong with <laughs> and that's my fleet manager, too. <laughs> he just messaged me. He said, I told him that, you know, the truck still isn't fixed. The rear bunk AC is still increasing airflow by itself. It's back to the way it was, increasing nonstop. Just wanted to let you know. He goes, jeez, I told them on Friday about it, too. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So... We'll have to see what happens, but yeah, it is a problem. I don't know if it's a common Freightliner issue or what, but I never had an issue with it at CFI with Kenworth, but here at Freightliner so far, I've had nonstop issues with it, like ever since I've gotten this truck. So today we're going to go over some comments today. Uh, let's see, I've got two comments from uh, Silverhawk24. I've been a fan of your channel for now. Love your work, bro. I appreciate that, man. And you also commented, it's a good thing that you took that exit because I can't imagine uh, what, would, what would happen if it kept going. If you would have kept going, tornadoes are something to be playing around with. Yeah, that's for sure. So the next comment comes from Tyler. You've all, you've been watching my ch channel for a while. I know you have, bro. So thanks for answering people's questions and thank you for another video. I enjoy your videos. I've been driving trucks for about six months, so your videos help me out. And I appreciate that. Stay safe. Well, that's good. Because like I said, my videos are aimed to show the general public the reality of trucking. Not this glorious, glamorous, like, oh, trucking's the best job in the world. And I'm not saying it's not the best job, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm not trying to show you guys that, oh, it's, it's the most glamorous and you will never have issues or anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, well, I'll tell you a story that happened this morning. I was at a pilot... Actually, I'm sorry, not this morning. I'm getting my days confused. Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So, I started driving... I left with this load from the yard Sunday night. 10 o'clock Sunday night. And I ended my day in New Jersey at a pilot about 10 o'clock, roughly. About 10 o'clock. So I did a 10 hour break. 7 p.m. rolls around, I got my hours back, I crawled to the pumps, no big deal. Nobody around me, I mean, there was the, the pumps were full, but there was one open, went, you know, went on in. Fueled, did my pre-trip and everything. I pulled forward. There was a guy that pulled in behind me, not fueling. So I'm waiting my, uh, my timer out, you know, just the rest of my pre-trip. So, not the guy behind me, but the guy behind him comes up to my door and says, has the audacity to ask, you can't park here. 
excuse me? What are you talking about? You can't park here. Who told you you could park here? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm just sitting here until I just need a couple, few more minutes. Well, I need you to move. I said, he said, I'm the two trucks back. I said, well, the guy behind you, in front of you didn't fuel? I know the guy in front of you didn't fuel. He goes, yeah. I said, well, that's his problem. He didn't fuel. It's 10 minutes per truck. If he's fueling, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes for the person in front of me. 10 minutes for behind him. You know what I'm saying? It's about 10 minutes a truck. That's what you basically give. Give. I only had like five minutes left, and this was prior to him even getting up there. I just pulled forward, and all I had to do was sit there for five minutes. <laughs> I told his, I told his ass, I said, just go back to, just go back to your truck, and mind your business. And then after he, after he did, I pulled away. <laughs> oh, the reality of trucking is, is a lot out here. It really is. It really is, guys. It is. You know. It's it's a bit much sometimes. It really is. It is a bit much. Now I will tell you guys, I'm just like I said, I'm just sitting here just waiting, just kind of kill time right now. But I will tell you something right now. If I worked for a company that said you can only drive a semi truck, our loads only go to northeast. That's it. Wherever you're from, you always go to the northeast. If that was the case. I would never be a truck driver. <laughs> I promise you and cross my heart, I swear to you, I would never be a truck driver. I don't like it up here. I never have liked it up here. It's terrible up here. If you've never been to the New England, get ready. Why do you think there's a lot of companies that pays extra money for people, for drivers to go up to New England? If I recall, CFI pays you like plus three cents per mile to come up here because nobody wants to come up here as far as us we don't we don't get that extra pay mm -mm, we don't we don't get that extra pay just because we're getting paid since we're getting paid so much now we don't we don't get extra pay for coming up here unfortunately but it is what it is guys so anyway what we're going to do let's see what time it is it's 11 oh no sorry no 9 30 right now our appointment's not till one o'clock in uh, orange and it's only about an hour and a half drive so we're just going to sit here for about another 30-ish minutes, 45 minutes, and kill some time. And then um, and then we're going to head on to our pickup. So I will pick up with you here shortly. Let's get on out of here. Let's Turn get... left on Dunham Road. Let's get out of here. Left onto Dunham Road. Hello. You don't have to be so loud. You don't have to yell and scream at me. <laughs> half a mile. Turn left onto Plank Street. In one half mile, turn left on Plank Street. Yeah, I've been to this place coming up. It, uh, I think it's called Semen Paper. I think I've been I've been here before, or been there before. Oh, I missed this last night. There's no stop sign or anything, but... Oh, they got a stop sign. I don't have a stop sign. Okay. Alright, yay. Let's go play in some freaking New England traffic. Whoopee! In one quarter mile, turn left on Plank Street. Whoopee. I was lucky getting up here because actually getting up here I didn't have any amount of traffic at all really. In one half mile, turn right on Middlesex Turnpike. Middlesex Turnpike. So we're about 60 miles from this pickup and it's west. It's, uh, Western Massachusetts is where we're going. In one quarter mile, turn right on Middlesex Turnpike. In Orange, Massachusetts. Township of Orange, really. Township of Orange. So if the camera angle is wrong or bad, I'm sorry. I got, a, I got a new mount, new hat. I got a new mount and everything. So we're trying it out. I got to get all the angles right and whatnot. Turn right at the traffic light. 
No turn on red. In three miles, turn left on Concord Road. Head northwest on Middlesex Turnpike. Because I got a full clock, it, it reset, obviously, last night. Because when I got there, my appointment was 7.30 this morning. But when I got there, after my 10-hour break at Pilot, I had a five-hour drive. And um, it was midnight when I got there. I can't remember if this place takes, uh, takes you in early. Or if they do that or not. I can't remember. I know I've been here. I just can't remember. My appointment's 1 o'clock, but... I was thinking, what do I care if I get there at 1 o'clock? If I get there earlier, who cares? If they load me early, great. If they don't, no big deal. The load ain't due in South Carolina until Thursday, but of course, he's probably going to push me to... Probably going to push me. More than likely. Wow. This road is terrible. Holy crap. Fix your roads, Massachusetts. I know it snows a lot up here, but dang. <laughs> At the end of the street, be in the second lane from the left, then turn left. Okay, sure will. A quarter mile, use the right lane to take the US-3 north ramp to Lowell, Nashua. The right lane to take the US 3 North ramp, then merge onto US 3 North. I don't know if you can see, but look how freaking horrible these roads are. They're so freaking patchy. You'd think you're in South Carolina. As rough as these roads are. This way looks so familiar. I don't know why. It just seems so familiar for some reason. Here we go. Alright, move over. Here I come. In four miles, you left me toward 495 South. Ah, 495. Ah. Alright, well, we still got, again, we still got about 60 miles to get there, so I'm gonna let you go and I'll catch up with you when we get closer to the uh, shipper. Yes, I do remember it now. Because I looked at that and I said, 13-1? What? I remember that. But I thought I was delivering here. Yeah, I do remember this. But I thought I was delivering to this location, not picking up. I hope I put the right address in. <laughs> oh well, we'll find out here. Well, if not, I mean, still got plenty of time. Yep, I do remember this now. Yep, it was nighttime when I came through here. I was like, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I remember coming here and I'm like, oh god, I about took that stop sign out because it's just like poked out there. Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, cars, you're gonna have to wait for me to make this turn. Yep, I do remember this. But I swear I thought this was Crate and Barrel when I was coming. Unless it's somewhere different. In fact, yeah, it was a Crate and Barrel, I think, up here. See, all this was night, so I don't remember any of this. 
this is so nice, but bumpy. Pretty cool. Okay, nice little town. Okay, I do remember this McDonald's. Oh yeah, I do remember this awkward Continue route. For two miles. I do remember this off that awkward turn. I think someone needs to be directing some traffic here. game on I know that for sure turn right on Lucci Drive following distance there's nobody in right front of me drive. then your destination will be on the right I heard my my camera just went off I can't make a turn until you're gone and you my camera just went off because and it said following oh my god come on car okay you're gonna stop my camera just went off and said follow this there's not even a freaking car in front of me <laughs> oh dear god arriving at semen paper orange on the right semen paper orange i did overnight here i do remember that head northeast on c street toward governor dukakis drive douglas dukakis dukakis all right well oh yeah i remember this place like a nut all right well let me check in i'll be right back Alright. Door five. This place is always quiet. There's hardly any trucks that ever come here. That's the one good thing about here. That's the one good thing. There's hardly any trucks that come here, so your appointment time. Your appointment time like mine is one o'clock. You can be here. First thing in the morning, they don't they don't fill up here, and they allow overnight parking. They got a porta potty there for us, which sucks, but better than nothing. Yep, as long as you park right over here along this over here, they don't care. I love places like this. I really do. All right, door number five. And I think it, I think it took, takes maybe uh, back up. I think it took like maybe 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Doesn't take long. They're pretty quick here because everything's. I think everything's pretty much preload or pre-pulled. Your destination is on the left. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize I wasn't here yet. I'm on. Pull it on over. Let's see how good I did. Did I do good? Nah, I lined up with the wrong door because my tandems are all the way forward. <laughs> well, I'm close. Actually, no. 
Um, half and half. I split the half. This is a good place for uh, rookie drivers to learn how to back and everything. The area's not. <laughs> This is going to Ross Distribution. Ross Distribution in Fort Mill. And now I say that all the trucks are coming in. <laughs> That's okay. These dogs are skinny as hell. That is the one thing. They are very super, they're super skinny. far over to the left a little bit. Come on. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Let's check. Okay, well, we're here. Let's get loaded and then I'll catch you on the flip side on the way out. Okay. Holy crap, it's cold. Whew. Well, I tell you one thing, winter ain't winter ain't done here in uh up here. trailer and it doesn't have the 40 foot mark marked on it so we'll tuck it back just a little bit yeah we'll, we'll pull it back just a little bit it's a total of 28 thousand pounds That should be decent enough, and then we'll pull forward. There we are. I just wanted it up a little bit more. All right, let's do this real quick. 12.30. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, tug test. Not only to, it's not only just to make sure that you're attached to the truck. Uh, let's see. I mean, all right, thank you, thank you. Um, it's also to make sure you're. It's 
also to make sure that uh, your tannins are locked in. Okay, so we're about 28,000 pounds in the box. I don't know how far we're going to make it today. It just depends on when I decide to really shut it down, honest, <laughs> honestly. But I like this place. I don't like being up here, but I don't mind this place because it's always dead. The only trucks that were coming in here are just like local boys. And they're the only ones coming in here. At the end of the street, turn to right. 600 turn right, right on Daniel, Daniel Shays Highway. Highway. We should be fine on weight because it's loaded all the way to the very back, as you saw. But we still weigh just to make sure. All right, well, you guys already seen all this run already. I don't know if I'm going to tack some of that on to this or not. I have no idea. But since you guys already seen this, I'm going to let you go. And I'll catch up with you when we arrive probably to the interstate. Probably get to the interstate. Yeah, I'll catch up then. Well, we've been on the interstate for a while. I had a phone call that came up, so that's why I didn't grab my camera right away. But um, you want to know what it's like to drive in the northeast? And this is just a slither of it, too. I've been in nothing but traffic for the past, oh, I don't know, probably about two hours of doing this crap. Stop and go. People up here don't give a rat's ass how big you are, what you are, don't care, nothing. They don't give you no room, nothing. But it's literally been this for the past two hours. And I'm super heavy. Which doesn't help things like that right there. Take exit 32A, 32B on the right to I-84 West, then keep left. What's the capital of Connecticut? Hartford is the capital city of the U.S. state of Connecticut. Hart city. Located in Hartford County, Connecticut, United States. Hartford. Population of 121. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 2020 census. Would you like to hear more? Nope, thank you. Okay, so Hartford. I think this is Hartford. Look at this. Look at this prime example right here. Can't wait. Couldn't be. Couldn't be back there. Oh, no. Couldn't be back there. And get in line way back there with everybody else. Has to. And, and they're going to push in whether you like it or not. People are going to push in regardless if you like it or not. They know you ain't going to hit them. They know that. Especially in a truck, they won't do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, Hartford. Duh. Yeah, right there. Welcome to Hartford. Ooh, here we go. Under here. Continue on I-84. I'm not an echo in Jake Brake truck. I'm muffled. But it does sound pretty good for it to be muffled. Alright, well, I think we're pretty much out of Hartford. And it's just going to be traffic the rest of the way. So, I know you guys aren't interested in traffic. So, I'll put you down and I'll catch up with you later. All right, guys, we are a mile from Love's. We're going to see if we can find a parking spot at 645 at night. We're going to see if there's any kind of parking since now that the time has shifted. Chime's check. Chime? Time has changed. Now it's easier to find, generally sometimes easier to find parking. Drivers take say it out later. Take exit on the right towards Shartlesville, then take the first right. Let's cross our fingers that we find a spot. I just need one spot or create a spot or something. Just one. All I need is one. Turn right at the stop sign, then take the second left. Okay. There is parking across the street. Recalculation. Turn left. A 
I'd be sitting there all day if I had to wait. Let me guess, you have to pay to park over here. Oh, I remember this place. Oh, yes, I remember this place. Oh, I Arriving at Lowe's travel greatly remember this left. place. I'm not even going to attempt. Oh, yeah. I know this place. I remember. So we're going to park right here. When possible, make a U-turn, then take the second right. We're going to park right here, right along the curb. Not too close to... Warner. All right. Yep, I do remember this. Oh yeah. This is the one that um, I believe you have to. They had to have marshallers out here. Um, they had to have marshallers out here to. All right, you go in. You stop here. You go here. You go there. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this one. It is a this is a bad one, but thank God there's actually a little bit wider for two trucks to come in. About eight and a half hours tomorrow. So we'll call it quits here and uh yeah. See you tomorrow. Good morning everybody. If you're an observed watcher, you'd notice um we're not in the same we're not in the same place. We're not in the same loves as we were earlier. Yeah, I got a story behind that one. Big time. I mean, nothing bad, but it's just interesting. Let's put it that way. All right, still connected. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. The last loves that you saw me at, I was sitting in the truck, you know, waiting about 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes in the driver's seat, just in case if something was to come up or whatever. I'm glad I did. At a little intersection there. In one half mile, take half the ramp mile, on the right to I-81 South toward Roanoke. Because um, security came out and told all the trucks that were parking along that shoulder where I was at, came out and was like, oh, well, they come and towed about five trucks yesterday and just a fair warning and this and that. And Take the ramp on the right sort of stuff. to I-81 south toward Roanoke. So two of the drivers in front of me, two of, the two of the drivers in front of me didn't move. The driver behind me and me, we were like, ah, screw it, we'll just After go ahead and go. Feet, the I still, hell, I still had three and a half hours left on my clock anyway. So we came down here to, um, Maryland. So oh, we're on the road. We're heading to uh, Fort Mill, South Carolina. So I will see you when we get closer to Fort Mill. All right, guys, we are about, mm, ah, it's covering it up, maybe about two miles. Not far. In one and three quarter miles, take exit Four mile. 90 on the right to US 21 South, then keep left. And we got our next load. We're heading from this, we're picking up here at Ross Distribution. And we're heading to Apex, North Carolina. Three hours from exactly where we are. And I have four hours, well, yeah, four hours and 12 minutes. But of course, that's definitely going to change, obviously, with, um, what you call it, with traffic, because it already is 2.30. And traffic in Charlotte starts around 6.30. Not even 6.30, sorry, sorry about that. Probably about 4 o'clock, 3.30. Then you're already set up for take making left the left. Take 21 South, then take the first left.
Ta-da. So I gotta look at when it's due. Cause I'm thinking about just overnighting here. I don't know, I haven't quite decided yet. Cause as of now, I don't know where I'm gonna be overnighting at. at the traffic light. Now, sometimes when a vehicle's sitting there, sometimes it's harder. So it's best just to go ahead and stay out. Well, there's hardly anybody behind me. Any oh, they're way over there anyway. Jeez, what is it? Shift change around here or something? All right, well, uh, I know there's a guard right here. So um, hopefully there's nobody in line. Wow, he's up on the curb. Nope, all right, so I'm gonna let you go. Well, a couple. Well, I'll get, I'll record getting in here. All right, I'll let you go. I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, we're out of there. I know I was supposed to record on the inside, but I was just wanting to get... I was trying to get in there and out pretty quickly before, uh, I just want to get down the road before any kind of traffic or rush hour hits. I hate this time of the day around Charlotte. Freaking sucks around here. Especially with being this low on time and having to deliver today. It's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Nice for cutting in front of me. Like literally like right in front of me. Take the ramp on the right to US 21 North towards Charlotte. Alright guys, well, it's going to be traffic all the way until we get there. So I'm going to let you go and I'll catch up with you later. Alright guys, we're about four, point seven, four, four and a half miles from our destination. So you guys are, oh, say cheese. So you guys are pretty much getting a twofer for this one, two deliveries. I know the last one I didn't show you any unhooking or whatever. I just wanted to get out of Charlotte before any type of rush hour hit. You don't want to be in Charlotte with rush hour. Ooh. Now keep right to take exit 56A. So this should be the non a non toll. After two and a half miles, keep right to take exit 95 and then turn right. Now keep right and then turn right towards NC 55 East. Turn right on North After Carolina 55 East. east. Then take the first left. East and then turn left. Now turn right and then turn left onto Lufkin Road. Turn left at the traffic light, then turn After right. After 600 feet, turn left onto Lufkin Road and then you will reach That's your funny. destination. It's saying so. Hang on a second. Where are we going? What's down there? 850 National Delivery Service 850 All right, cool. This way. Turn left, then take the second right. Oh, copyright, 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 copyright. Oh my god, I barely made that. I know I shouldn't have listened to you. Concrete group. Raleigh paving. When possible, make a U turn, then take the first right. Excuse me. Turn right, then take the second right. Maybe that's it up there. I have no clue. 60 minute warning. Oh my god. Alright. I think we're here. Alright, let me check in. This is going to be fun. Not really. That's a joke. The dude did say it's going to be tight. Oh my god. So I'm going to have to take these tandem and slide. I'm going to have to tie them all the way forward. 
All right. We got to make it in that spot down there next to Schneider. So we literally have to come way out here. I got to take my seatbelt off of this so I can see where... Barely. <laughs> Thank God they're rubber flaps. We got her turned. Alright, so what we're going to do now... We're going to slide these... That's exactly why those things are rubber. <laughs> you want the tandem slid further further back a little bit so when you make a spin you don't have a large tail swing on you oh my gosh that's so hard i can't see Come on, slide. It's heavy. It's it's heavy. Trying to slide tandems on gravel is not easy. There we go. turned now we got to get it back this way well, actually kind of the wrong god it's a bright sun he said if i can't seem to do it uh, I can drop it at the fence line. We'll, we'll give a crack at it. Problem is, is this, this is loose gravel. That's the problem. It's loose gravel and the load is heavy. All right, I'm gonna go straight. See, this is the problem.
like a trainer and trainee, I guess, maybe? They get over to the empty lot, and they got one, two, three, one along the fence. Something was f***ed up with the other three. I couldn't really understand the guy. <laughs> but he's like, I want that one. Can you help? And I looked at him. I said, I'm using your truck. <laughs> a big f***ing sleeper. You know, I did that shit in less than five minutes and made it look fucking easy. And I never once touched the cab with the trailer. Right. I was like, well, I, I was laughing. I told her, um, our day yard jockey, Yvette, she's damn good at what she does. But I said, man, I should have sent you over there. She like, why? I said, because that would have been the ultimate embarrassment. And she goes, yeah, but why? I said, because you're a woman and those are guys and you can do it better. There you go. <laughs> All right, man, I'm out of here. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Dustin. Super nice guy. I mean, freaking awesome dude. I don't know if you caught any of that, but what he was saying was uh, basically Warner had an embarrassment. At least he was a nice guy. He came over and helped. And I did touch my fairings at the top, but they did not crack or bend. That's why they're rubber. Rubbery plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's not that bad. Oh. Got me a new pit bull. Pin puller. Right here. Got a new one. Got the automatic. Oh, got to tug it. There we go. The automatic release. It's difficult. <laughs> All right. Well, they allow overnight parking, so we'll park here for the night. Super awesome guy, dude. He's a he's a red uh, um, North Carolina native. You could tell. <laughs> I'm not like that. <clears throat> All right. And I don't think there's any empties over there. I think that's what he said. Ta-da! I don't know if you picked up what he said, but basically what he said was that Warner guy, him and another driver, there was two of them in the same truck. It took two hours to put that trailer in. Yeah, this lot is made for day cabs, not sleeper cabs. Turn right, then take the second right. All right. He said he doubts there's a cargo trailer, which is, I guess, is okay. He said, first 10 spots, he said, make a home. I said, Sounds like a plan to me, sir. <laughs> and so far, I'm not seeing any cargo over here, so. Yep. Turn right. All right, there ain't no cargo over here. I'm not gonna park next to him, but he did say the first two, 10 spots, make yourself a home. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's Covenant. Wait, what is that? Oh, another Covenant. Damn it. Another one of them. They have the same numbering system as us. her little nose, or well, not her nose, but we'll poke her little butt right back in here in this spot. We'll come 
way back here too. That way, out of the way, tucked away, nice and quiet. All right, that is that. All right, guys. What you guys think? That's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys really enjoy the two stopper. I know, like I said, at Ross, I didn't really record, but I just wanted to get in and out before um, they, uh, uh, before rush hour in Charlotte, because rush hour in Charlotte is really bad. It, it's absolutely horrible. It's horrendous. It's, it's, it's horrible. So, and I was able to make it here with one hour left on my clock, which is completely fine. I could stay here or I can go down to that truck stop down there. I'm just a bobtail, but shoot, I'll just go ahead and stay right here. All right, guys, that's all the time we have today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.